Hello, I'm Jenny Jeweler, retired emergency dispatcher, and uh, grab a cup of coffee and a snack because we're going to hang out in the break room. My headset is off. Uh, this is going to be just 911 adjacent coffee talk. And what we're going to be looking at at this break room is a video that was sent to me that involves Hyundai Kia vehicles once more. So if you're the owner of a Hyundai or a Kia, you may want to watch this and be aware. This is not to encourage crime, though. I'm not telling you to crime. I'm just telling you this is happening. So let's go ahead and give this a watch. Well, and that's what makes it all the more outrageous. You will see that surveillance video from the, the store's cameras. In the You'll also see the security measures that these business owners put in place before this latest smash and grab. And the owners tell me they're frustrated because they feel like they're the ones paying the price for teens who don't fear getting caught and target their business over and over. This stolen Hyundai goes through the front door and then it's off to the races as this group rips merchandise off the walls of Have a Heart Cannabis in Bothell. They load up bags, then run out and speed off. They're not afraid of anything. That's why they continue to do it. Diane Beautiful. Walter says Cute. this is a frustrating routine that is costing her business a fortune. Four times in a month. It's, it affects everything. It affects everyone, the workers. People want to feel safe. The dispensary installed these bollards to prevent cars from ramming the Is that what the they're called? They're called bollards? In this case, I don't the know. crew drove down the sidewalk Dude, to smash no. their way in. So I get here, and the car is wedged in our doorway, and the engine's running. I like her ice Police detective. say both Hyundais were stolen. These models are among the Kias and Hyundais that are easily started using a USB cord uh -huh. as part of an All online right. I mean, trend known as Kia Boy. All right, I'm going to pause it here. So Kia Boys, yep, that's the whole point me putting this video up here is to let you know these guys are out there and it's not just in this area. It's, it's a lot of different places. Uh, painfully, a lot of it in Ohio and, um, of course, in major metro metropolitan areas because they figured this out. So the information for how to do this got out online. And uh, that's a problem. So I'm not telling you to crime, and I'm not telling you to go look and see how it's done. What I'm trying to tell you is if you have a Hyundai or a Kia, this might happen. So let's go ahead and hit the play again. Where young men steal Hyundais and Kias to commit crimes. Como has reported on an alarming spike in cases like this, including at this Have a Heart location in Seattle last yeah. month, where, you guessed it, a stolen Kia was used to smash in. It's more for me. It's legislators, lawmakers, and it's the federal government who needs to protect us. Diane says the laws in oh, Washington federal government are never too lenient for organized groups like this. We definitely need steeper much steeper penalties for these types of crimes. This guy left his face oh, uncovered God, in Diane You're says dummy. she hopes someone can I hope you got the cops too. I don't know because again ridiculous. I can't share anything. I mean it's getting out I honestly of don't hand. know. The person who talked to me and sent me this can't share anything. This is a regional issue here across western Washington. One of the cars that was stolen was taken from Linwood, the other from Pierce County. Now what's the motivation for these teens or young adults to do this? Well, I was asking that to the owners and she Drugs. says they're not after cash, they're not taking the cash register, Drugs. they're not taking electronics, Drugs. they're just taking merchandise Drugs. off the shelf over and over and Drugs. over. Drugs. Drugs. So it Drugs. seems like that's what their target Drugs. is and they're not afraid to ram through the front doors to get it. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So the, the, the topic's a little touchy, you know? I know everybody's got feelings about that stuff, but, but yeah, it's, it's, I'm sure that it's not going to just be that type of shop. If they keep doing this, it's going to be a huge problem. And, um, again, if you have a Hyundai or a Kia, be very careful with your vehicle. You might want to check and see if your model is the one that they're able to do that to. And I'm not posting that because I'm not going to help them. I'm not helping anybody with how to do this crap. But, uh, yeah, and if you know anything about the people in those videos, feel free to contact uh, Washington State King County um, Sheriff's Office. That would be very nice of you. You don't have to, but uh, it'd be nice if you know. But, hey, yeah. Ooh, don't crime. <laughs> Take care. Stay safe. Don't be naughty like these Kia boys. Until next time. Bye-bye.